What's going on guys, Average Tech Guy here, and you guessed it, today we're here. We're gonna be looking at the four best controllers that I've seen for iPad OS right now. Let's check them all out. So the first one and one of the latest that I've chosen to review would be this one. This is the Stratus by SteelSeries. Now, it's very small, very minimalistic, sits in the palm of your hand, comes with a little cover. If you've seen my other review, it's a cover that sits on top of it and the cover doubles as a shell that goes on the back of it as well. Has pressure sensitive buttons, is Bluetooth. What more can you ask for? It works really great. Now, great control, great handles, works really well. It's very responsive. I've had no issues with this. It does exactly what I want it to do when I want it to do it. Um, all the buttons are really working. The D-pad works, the analog works. Everything looks really good with this controller and it has a great price tag on it. You can pick this up from any um, retailer for probably about 29, 30 bucks. Really great device. It's really gonna make your iPad with iOS more enjoyable and with iPad Arcade coming out, it's gonna be a great thing to have because if you look at it, it's really the size of my hand and you're gonna be able to put it down in your pocket, take it just about anywhere you go. So this has been the Stratus by SteelSeries. Now we're gonna switch gears a little bit and talk about the Xbox controller. So Xbox controller is really, really smooth, really fluid. Um, everything works really well on here. Now there's no rumble feature on here, but so I'm not the best at this game, but as you can see, controls handle real well. I'm just moving back and forth. I'm gonna jump off that ramp. I'm gonna crash into a car. I'm gonna hit everything, but controls work really well on this game pad. Um, it charges up, you get two batteries in there, but you can actually uh, get a chargeable battery to put in there. But right now I have two AA batteries in there but there's, this is probably not the best game for the handles because I'm not good at this game, but it works really well. Um, like I said, no rumble feature, fits really good in the hand, it's real comfortable. D-pad as well as your analog works, everything looks good. This is a great controller to get for iPad with iPad OS. Time up. Next is the Nimbus by Steel Series. Now, as you can tell, uh, one of the classic games that you can play um, controls, we want to make sure that D-pad works because that's all we had back then. Down, jump button, gets you your sonic spin dash. Everything looks good. Controls handle good. This controller feels good in the hand. Um, there are no issues with this. There are no rumble features. And the good thing about this one, it's gonna cost you about 50 bucks. So it's not gonna hurt your pocket. Uh, 50 bucks for a controller is not that bad, considering you can pay up to 100 bucks for a controller. Um, but everything looks really good, everything works well. You have four major buttons. Um, we're just gonna try this, see how controls work. Get 30 rings. So this used to be one of my favorites back in the day. Okay, controls work really good, really precise, really accurate. Everything looks good. And you can actually press your menu button and it takes you to the pause screen. So tons of control, tons of functionality. Great controller by SteelSeries. This is the Nimbus. You can pick this up at your local retailers, Best Buy, Walmart, Amazon. You're gonna pay about 50 bucks for this one. And one of my all time favorite controllers, I've had PlayStation since PlayStation came out, but this is one of my favorite controllers. It's one of the most comfortable in my hand. This is the PS4 DualShock. Now you can pick this up anywhere from 45 to 64 bucks, but handles really well on the iPad. Everything looks good. No issues whatsoever. Handling is smooth. If you're banking, if you're drifting, I'm gonna drift right quick just to show you. There we go. Nice drift. Now, once again, you do not get rumble features and you do not get rumble feature on any of these controllers, but tons of functionality. Everything looks good. Everything works well. I'm handling really well in this car, even though I can't drive that good. But everything looks good. Everything matches up. There's no lag. 
there's nothing to worry about in that aspect. Overall, it's a great controller for your iPad featuring iPad OS. All right, guys, so there you have it. These are the four that I choose. Now, I didn't want to do which one was my favorite or which one was the best out of all because they all have their own little aspect. Uh, basically, it's going to come down to price and it's going to come down to comfort in your hand. Now, we know that this one may be the most comfortable, but it is the smallest. It also is the cheapest. This one is going to be about 30 bucks. This is the Stratus. The Nimbus is going to run you about 50 bucks. It's really comfortable two grips but once again i'm not saying which one i like the best because like i said i like them all just the rundown 50 bucks over here for the nimbus 30 bucks over here for the stratus ps4 controller is going to run you anywhere from 45 to 60 bucks depending on where you pick it up from i've been rocking with ps4 since ps1 so one of my favorite controllers one of the best grips but i'm coming to now like the xbox because it fits real good in the hand the controls are really easy to get to and all of these pair up really well and all these have really good handling and control and there is no lag with any of these bluetooth 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 50 bucks 30 bucks anywhere from 45 to 60 bucks and you're going to pay about 55 bucks for the xbox controller so I'll drop links below to all of these. You can see my iPad recommendations. Go check them out. Hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.